there. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick explanation of how I do the scales that are here on, on um, Emily here. Um, I have to say this is a technique that I first saw at MQX a couple years ago. Um, Jan Hutchinson had quilted it. Um, she, I don't know if she was the first one or not, but she was the one that inspired me to give this a try. Um, if you notice that these these scales are up higher than what this quilting is here. I'm holding the camera, so if it, ju if it juggles a little bit, I apologize. So anyway, um, let me explain to you how it's do how I do that. Um, and if you look, see those scales. If you look on the back. Those scales are not quilted all the way through on this particular one. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm actually working on the big size of Emily and I'm putting in the scales right now on the tail here. And what I do, I've loaded a backing and I put some batting back behind here, you can see. And I'll go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and quilt the scales here and then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna trim all of that extra away, all the batting and the backing that's there, and then I'm gonna load it again. And so, and then I'll quilt the, the, uh, the background and the rest of Emily. And so what that'll, um, uh, what that'll happen, what will happen then is that the scales will actually rise up and look like it's on top, and it gives it more of an illusion of it being round. And so if you look here on, on this one, you can see how it gives the illusion of that being round. It looks like it's trapunted underneath, but yet it's still quilted. And that's how you do that. So you layer it, you quilt it, then you take it off, trim it up, and then you layer it again with more batting and you trim the background. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd give you that little tidbit. I thought it was a really clever thing when I saw it and it works great on, on putting the dragon scales here. Have a good weekend.